Hey guys, it's me Lexi from It's All About The Roman Blog, and if you got my sneak peek on Twitter, you're supposed to guess what my hair color was. And it's purple! Ta-da! Only one person actually guessed right. But, yay! It's a dark color, um, compared to being like pink and magenta and fuchsia. Ugh, it's kind of hard to get used to my hair being dark again, it's been so long, like two or three months since my hair was dark, even with my natural color. And the majority of my natural color is right here. Um, I wanted to try purple again, because the first time I did it, it faded right away and went gray. Um, but if this one decides to fade right away again, I'll just do purple, oh not purple, bleh. I'll do blue and then teal afterwards, and then after that, I might just be done with my hair or I might just lighten my hair a little bit and then go um, red velvet cupcake color which is pretty much magenta and red mixed together and that would be exciting to try um what else well aside from it being a remembrance of Pearl Harbor and my heart goes out to those who fought in that war, or who even died, because I've been to the memorial, and it's a very touching memorial. But aside from that, it's bestie day, and I know my phone shows up backwards on my camera, but if you want to be my BFF, we can like share best friend necklaces, and have sleepovers, and you know, braid each other's hairs and stuff, but... <laughs> you could be my BFF forever. Um, what else? I have my bunny scissors right here because I started a new embroidery project. You guys can see it. It's on a bag. Um, I'm doing the tedious details right now, and it's not fun. It's not fun at all because if I don't do them, I won't finish my project at all. And if I do that. Like, I've done it before. I had a shirt where I was doing a mermaid, and I got so excited doing, like, the fun, like, big parts and everything. And then when it came to the tiny details, I just gave up. Like, I still have to fix my mermaid's eyes, because that, that was, like, the trouble I was having. And if I would have worked on them first, and the other little tiny details, like the bubbles and stuff, I probably would have had it done by now. Um... That was actually like my very first um, shirt to embroider on ever because the first thing I embroidered on was a piece of fabric that my friend gave me and she gave me like a little trial of her whatever pattern she had. Um, what else? I have a Christmas parade to go to tonight for pause because the second graders, they donated some money. They also... Well, I don't know. I think they, they had to have. Whatever. I mean, I know they donated money during the summer. But I know they're making posters for us and doggy treats. They have doggy treats for us. Um, and I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to be part of that because it's fun. But I'm also kind of bummed out because it intervened with my raid night. And the only thing I'm bummed out on is we finally are getting far. I mean, we're not like super far in, but we're progressing at our own pace, which is awesome. And I mean, even though it's slow compared to like other guilds and everything, we're taking our time. And I believe the way how we're ta taking it, we're more relaxed in the raid rather than people freaking out and queuing and raging or whatever um but i think we're progressing pretty well i just bummed out because we finally made it to the third boss and i wanted to see how the mechanics work and everything since we all watched the videos on fat boss and we also i mean even though we tried it last week or last sunday although we tried it then excuse me um even though we tried it then, I say we did okay. 
but we're still trying to figure out what to do, and I don't know. I think we're doing great. I mean, whoever is watching, they can tell me otherwise, but it doesn't matter. It's a game, and I like how relaxed our group is now compared to what it used to be, but anyways, let's see. The one question I had to answer this week is what kind of music I like, and let's see, I think I wrote it in a blog post before, but I don't mind like saying it again. <laughs> I really don't mind. It really doesn't bother me. I mean, I repeat myself over and over again anyways, it, that it annoys everyone, but I like, well, my current obsession right now is Lana Del Rey, and I have like the hugest girl crush on her, like ever. I don't know, her voice just captivates me, but I like the alternative sort, like, sort of music, like alternative rock and and everything, but if you go like old school gangster or old school rock, like, I will love that too. And I'm talking about like Biggie and Pop, like, if I hear that, I get excited and I'm just like, oh my god. Um, I, like, the old rock, like, I like Journey. Van Halen, um, funny story, Van Halen actually came to town when I was, like, 17, and I couldn't go to the concert, even though my dad, like, got an extra ticket, I couldn't go because I had my wisdom teeth pulled, like, not pulled out, but, like, surgically removed that day, and I was still woozy from anesthesia, and I was hopped up on Vicodin, and I couldn't go. As badly as I wanted to go, I just couldn't. Like, my mouth was so swollen and oh, I chipped my cheeks and it just I couldn't go I couldn't go because I wouldn't have remembered the concert I really wouldn't have like when I got my wisdom teeth pulled out I had Nemo on and then I woke up to Lee of Extraordinary Gentleman and I had no idea why that movie was on because Nemo was literally on like five minutes and I think I was asleep for like hours and I got mad at my mom because I was like where's Nemo <laughs> you fell asleep so I put this movie on put Nemo back and I ended up falling back to sleep anyways like during extraordinary League of Extraordinary Gentlemen so it didn't even matter um what other music do I like um pretty much anything I'll listen to anything um country I'm okay on it depends like if someone else is listening to it I'll listen to it but I f I had a choice I normally don't um I do like dubstep I have a friend that like recommends a lot of songs to me and there are a lot of underground songs which is awesome because I like underground music um they always seem more genuine until I don't know like that's how I was with Linkin Park, too. Like, Linkin Park was awesome until they got, like, super big, and now they're kind of, I think they're trying to be more to the youth than now, compared, like, instead of, like, staying true to what they were. I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, I could be wrong. Some people might like their new stuff. I don't know. I'm just, I'm weird. I like the old stuff better. Um, hmm. What else? Well, I got new glasses. These are my second pair of Warby Parker. The one thing I like about this brand is that they only cost $95 and you get the lenses and the anti-reflective on your lenses for free. Like, it just comes in. You don't have to pay shipping, nothing. Um, and what's cool about them is that if you buy a pair of glasses, they give a pair away to someone in need, which is super cool. So. These are my second pair of that, and they are a bigger frame compared to what I'm used to because normally I have like the thinner um, rectangle or thinner square look, and I like these ones better when I wear my hair down because um, when I have my hair up, I don't know, I feel like I look like the, um, the guy from Up, the old man, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, I don't know, I probably look okay to you guys, but I don't know, I feel like I look s silly. I'm still getting used to big frames, because the last time I wore big frames, I was 
in sixth grade. It's a, how old was I? How old are you in sixth grade? Like 12? 13? No. Like, like 12, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not good at math. Um, I think I was 12 because in eighth grade, I was 14. Um, anywho, I normally wear smaller frames. Um, what else? I've been thinking of getting my septum pierced. I don't know how I would look though. It'd probably look silly. I mean, I don't have any tattoos. I just have my lip piercing. I don't know if you guys can see it. Because I have my lip stud in. Um, I don't know. I'm still kind of unsure on it because one of my one of my biggest things I don't like about myself is my nose. Um, I always think it looks so big. Everyone tells me it doesn't. Everyone says it looks perfect and perfectly fine and everything, but I have a lot of things I don't like about myself. And one of them is my nose and the other one are my toes because <laughs> I feel like they look like sausages. <laughs> um, I think that's the first time any of you guys have seen my feet. What? <laughs> Sorry. I still have to paint my toenails. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed, but whatever. Oh, I feel myself blushing. Um, those are like two major things I don't like about myself. <laughs> are my toes and my nose. But, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to try to get my septum pierced. I mean, I think it will look cute. And if it doesn't, I mean, at least it's kind of inexpensive. And, I don't know. I don't have any tattoos yet, like, I kind of want to get one for my birthday, and I would get it, like, right here. Everyone says it's, like, very painful, but, I don't know, I have a higher tolerance of pain. I didn't, like, bleed or cry when I got this, my lip pierced. It didn't hurt at all. I mean, I pierced my own ear. This second one right here, you can tell. This one, I only have one earring, but this one, I have two. And I did the second one myself when I was like 15, I believe. Just got a needle in. <laughs> but, I don't know. Nothing very eventful this week aside from... What did I do this week? All I did was volunteer. Oh, I had an old man like hit on me, like really old, like 95 years old, come up to me and he got all excited when he asked how old I was because it means I was legal because I was, because he's like, I want to adopt you. And this is like his third or fourth time coming up to me, like flirting with me and asking if he can adopt me and take me home. And when I told him I was 25, he's like, oh, you're of age, like all excited. And then I guess one of his friends came up and was like, I'm going to tell your wife. And he's just laughing. He's like, I think she already knows. I'm just like, oh my God, this 95 year old man, maybe I should get written in his will or something. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I won't really do that. I'm not that kind of person, but it's just like, holy cow. That's like my, like, cherry on my ice cream of this week because everything else is was just normal routine like volunteering and everything but oh my gosh i don't know i kind of hope i see him next week see like highlights my day it's just it's so randomly funny and it's just like it's so cute in a weird way i don't know it's just like i want to adopt you and it's like oh you oh just look at you you're such a cute little old man but, <laughs> um, I don't know. I hope this weekend will be alright. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Um, I'm going to try to do another video during the week. Probably, like, try to do two. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. Um, during Christmas time, though, I'll probably skip a week or two. But, I will see you next week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!